in this week's episode of Working With Todoist. It's all about dark mode. Hello and welcome to another edition of Working With Todoist. My name is Carl Pauline and in this week's show it's all about the number one requested feature, dark mode. Now to be perfectly honest, dark mode or light mode isn't on their own going to improve your productivity. It's just really an aesthetic thing, it's about the look and of course if your applications look fantastic and you enjoy using them, you spend too much time inside them. That's not really the point of productivity. However, whenever an application such as Todoist updates, it's a nice thing and it's always nice to see a few changes and to see how things are working. And so in this week's show, I'm going to take you through some of the little changes that have occurred in the last few in the last update to Todoist ready for iOS 12, but this has been rolled out to everything that's Android, Windows, Windows 10, and of course, Mac OS Mojave. So before we go any further, I'd just like to say, if you like this episode, please click on that like button below. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, please subscribe. Okay, let's get straight into Todoist this week, and I'll show you all the new little features. Okay, so here we are in my today view in the traditional Todoist Red. Now I've updated it to the latest edition of Todoist and I got that from, it all came up actually up here on my laptop which is running uh, Mac OS Mojave and actually on my desktop I downloaded it from the Mac App Store which my old desktop computer is not running Mojave so maybe that's one of the reasons why. So let's move into this, how we're going to do this. So what you first have to do is you have to go into your settings and you go to theme. Now the first thing you're going to notice when we go into themes is that the whole interface here has changed somewhat. The colors haven't changed at all except for this new one called dark mode. So all you have to do to activate dark mode is click on the dark mode and you'll see a little tick in the bottom right hand corner. Now it doesn't change the settings side but when you hit the close button you'll find that you are nicely in your dark mode. So we'll go back to that. Now the beauty of dark mode is simply these buttons down here. I I can't tell if they've changed funnily enough or at least the, the circle, the color uh, outline has changed the priority labels but you can see them pretty a lot clearer now I'm not sure if you can on the video screen but certainly on my laptop it looks absolutely fantastic and also now the label colors are just bright enough to show the different colors in labels and you get your project colors right here so one of the things that I would point out is if you haven't already I would set the colors for your various projects now for me I have a color-coded system work related tasks are always in red I don't know why I've always done that uh, my home which is essentially things I need to do around home are in blue my areas of focus are in orange and yet I still have underneath the areas of focus I, I consider FES which is my language consultancy company is a, a work I consider CPP which is the productivity business as an area of focus and of course my personal so I actually keep this consistent almost like a traffic light if I make that green it would be a traffic light but I've always had routines as green so my routines are down there and I have someday maybe as a kind of uh, mauve color so it is a good idea now if you're going to go with the dark mode I would strongly recommend that you start color coding your projects so that you can actually see very clearly down the right hand side which of which project or which task that is related to which project so go back to my today's focus 
and again I can do it from here I can change these colors in my filters which is what I'm going to show you to do now because I can change the the sidebar quite easy now as you can see from my filters here I actually have a lot of colors so I'm going to call my today objectives I'm going to go into red but let me change the color of my today's focus so today's focus is where I'm going to spend most of time. I like the orange it really looks superb on the um, on the uh, in the dark mode I should say and I'm gonna do my goal next actions is gonna be let's call that oh we got loads of colors to choose from here my next actions I think I'll go with yellow I know it's not that different from orange but I've seen the golden 10 so actually the golden 10 should be gold so I'm gonna change that to a gold color it says orange but it'll do um, and then if I close that up and look up at the top there now I have these colors down here and actually what I really realized what I could do is just reduce the color opacity so red to orange to yellow uh, red to orange orange and yellow but you can play around with the various colors and it's just gonna make your whole system look much better and that's something I should point out dark mode is not going to improve your productivity and the worst thing that cap could happen is if you do fall in love with the dark mode color and you spend too much time inside to do it then it's kind of missing the point remember productivity is about doing the work and not about doing playing around with your productivity system okay one more thing that I should point out in this video is a new feature well it actually I think it came out a little while ago but I should point this one out to you uh, in the past with Todoist you had only one color choice so whether like myself who has a uh, Todoist on a laptop a desktop a phone and a tablet then once I chose the theme that theme was synchronized across all of my devices now I can turn off seam think <laughs> sync <laughs> theme syncing but you can actually turn it off or you can turn it on if you turn it off I can change the colors on my various devices so let's say that I don't like the dark mode on my desktop if I turn off sync theming then my desktop can have the traditional to do is red or any of these colors if I turn sync theming on then all my devices will get the dark mode and I should just point out one more thing you can actually activate this on the web and that's actually very straightforward now I've already done this but I think it's going to take you to my demo account I've actually already done this and by the way I'm using the dark theme on my um, on my laptop but one of the things that you can point what I can point out to you here is you do need to actually activate dark mode on the web so when you first log into the web it will ask you if you want to activate but again when you go into your settings here and go into themes you still have the sync theming option so I can turn that off on here go back to traditional to do is red and sure enough my to do is now in the traditional red but it hasn't affected any of my other devices now the same applies to all your devices all you need to do is go into settings choose your theme and you are good to go and that's really about it with the theming I'm going to go back into my original my actual main account because you can take advantage of this it's nice not to have a glaringly bright screen I've always turned down the colors the brightness of my screen when I've been working and it does look absolutely fantastic with the new colors so there you go that's how to get it activated on your devices just remember you don't have to have dark mode on all your devices now you can have different themes on different devices if you so wish it just remain I hopefully you are as excited about this as I am don't forget tune in tomorrow to the working with podcast as I have the a very special guest on this week's show I have the CEO of Doist Amir is coming on to the show to talk about well running Doist the company a fully remote company a few productivity issues and we also get to learn what Amir's favorite to Doist theme is Okay, so join me in the podcast tomorrow. I'll put a link in the show notes below so that you can find that podcast when it comes out tomorrow. Thank you very much for watching this episode. It just remains for me now to wish you all a very, very productive week. 
Thank you for watching this video. If you liked what you saw and you would like to learn more about becoming better organized and more productive, then get yourself enrolled in my free beginner's guide to building your own productivity system. And if you'd like to learn more about how I can help you, then visit my website at carlpauline.com. All the details are in the show notes below.